sometimes it's easier to enter contact information into Excel if you have a lot of contacts to enter versus doing it by hand into Outlook. Or perhaps somebody else gave you a contact list or it's a backup file that you need to import into Excel. You'll see in this example I've created a very basic contact list with three contacts that just has their first name, their last name, their email address, and their phone number. I've already saved this as an Excel file but I need to save it as a different kind of file to be able to import it into Outlook. Click on the Windows button. In older versions of Windows, you click on File. Go to Save As and click on Other Formats. Choose a file name. In this case, I'm calling mine New Contacts. And next to Save As type, click on the drop-down menu and choose CSV, comma, delimited. Then click Save. Every time you save a CSV file, Excel is going to warn you that if you save it as this file type, all formatting will be lost. What that means is CSVs strip out any formatting like fonts, colors, or sizes. And it's just warning us that that formatting is going to disappear. But that's okay because Outlook doesn't care about formatting, so we're going to click Yes. Now that we've saved the CSV, we can close Excel. I'm going to open Microsoft Outlook and click on File from the menu bar and then click Import and Export. From the list, I'm going to choose Import from another program or file and then click Next. Now I must choose to import a comma-separated value, Windows. Click Next. Click on Browse to find your file. By default, it goes to My Documents on my computer, but mine was on the desktop, so I'm going to click on Desktop. Here's my file. I just need to click on it and press OK. It gives you three options for what to do if there are duplicate entries. You can either replace duplicate entries with the imported items, allow duplicates to be created, or do not import duplicate items. I'm going to go with the default, allow duplicates to be created. Click on Next, and then we need to choose where to put the imported data. I'm choosing Contacts, obviously. Click Next. This part's very important. We have to map some custom fields. What mapping custom fields means is that we have to tell Outlook where to put the data from the Excel spreadsheet. On the left you'll see the four columns that we had in our Excel spreadsheet. On the right are all the different available fields in a Microsoft Outlook contact form. So for example if we click on the plus next to name you'll see that it's matched first name and last name to the correct fields in Outlook. If we scroll down to email, it's done the same. This is because the field names are the same. But in the case of phone number, I called mine phone number, and Outlook doesn't have just a phone number field. So if we scroll up a little bit, we have options for other, home, and business phone. I want to map this to business phone. So I'm going to click on phone number, hold down the mouse key, and drag it over and line it up next to business phone and then release the mouse key and you'll notice that now it's mapped. All the fields from your spreadsheet have to be mapped or that data won't be imported. Now that we're finished, click OK. We're ready to import the contacts so we can click Finish. Now it has imported all my contacts into Outlook.